Well, so far in this recording session, I've had nothing but fucking problems. I've had King of Fighters 2000, 2001 that just wouldn't display video or load or whatever. And then I've had ISS, which uh, um, the sound was fucked. Uh, I don't know what's what that was all about. Um, but I've put this game in and kind of done a quick check that it sounds okay so it sounded okay so it's something, something wrong with the disc I think hopefully not something wrong with the PlayStation but uh, what we've got in here is Medal of Honor Frontline and I've never played any of these uh, Medal of Honor games um, since the PlayStation 1 releases so um, we'll start this up um, I'm using the speaker system for the computer to do the audio um, because my headphones are fucked or something I don't know I'm just fucking everything's against me today I'm just not having fun that's what happens when you wake up at five o'clock in the evening <sighs> interesting that it's got the three languages um, you know, the word for loading in them uh, the relevant languages, and then it asks you what language you want it to be in. Yeah, I know. There's the memory card because I'm sick of games going fucking schizophrenic about the fucking memory card. So, released in 2002, I'm guessing this wasn't the first Medal of Honor game on the PS2. Uh, D Day. So we'll go easy. Uh, two form. That's what it's all about. So the, the presentation reminds me of the uh, Medal of Honor games that I played on the PS1. I think I only actually played uh, Medal of Honor Underground on the PS1, which was the uh, I won't really call a se it a sequel. It was more of a expansion, well obviously on PS2 you didn't have expansion packs they had a, a you know, standalone game for it so it looks like we're reenacting uh, D-Day let's all get shot on the beach graphics aren't anything to um, shout about but then uh, it is a PS2 release, so look at the gurn on that guy's face. That was immense. Fucking computer's now starting to make the annoying whirring noise. Ooh. Dual shock. Vibration. I've not felt that in uh, many uh, PS2 games. Don't know why. So, we've gone for the old, uh, try and make the old epic cinematic intro type thing. So press start to view the uh, objectives. Meet Captain Shaw. Cap meet Captain on the shore. Not Captain Shaw, I was going to say. Meet Captain Shaw on the shore. So what do we do here? Swim to the shore. That's quite interesting. Uh, am I in control here? No, I'm not in control. I'm just doing this automatically. Not the uh, fuck. There's a fucking captain there. Yeah, I can't see him. Um, so the analog stick control is pretty fucked up. Um, I 
Yeah, the fucking sensitivity is not right on it. Where am I supposed to be fucking shooting? What do you do about the fucking squad members? Rescue four pinned down squad members. Is he dead? Fire on bunkers. You, you just can't zoom in enough. I would fucking call you if the fucking controls weren't so fucking rubbish. But every time I get fucking my aim on, something explodes and then look, it fucking moves it. I don't know whether it, that's the fucking game doing it or the fucking vibration on the fucking controller that's just making the fucking analog stick go fucking disco. Fucking shoot in the head in a minute, twat. Right, so now what? Pardon <laughs> oh, me! Uh, so now I need to find another fucking douchebag. Oh, it's a bit tedious, isn't it? Can't see anybody else. Pinned down a lot. Uh, well, he wasn't. He got blown down. Fucking see anybody else? Fucking pile of shit. That guy there. All right. Shoot these fucking German faggots. Right, so now I'm fucking what? Where have we got a pistol and a rifle? The old classic airstrike to fucking get the fence down and what? Past ten years. 
Yeah, this would just literally be something that you'd run through on a current gen game. But due to the hardware limitations of fucking turned it into like a little mission based thing and it's pretty freaking tedious. Fucking gave you cover last time you fucking twine, you didn't fucking do anything. No. Ah, fucking explosions, fucking oh, ruining, I can't fucking aim or nothing. Oh, he's actually decided to fucking move. And that guy just needs fucking legs blowing off. Graphics aren't bad, but for me they're just a bit murky. I mean, obviously it's not fucking Sonic the Hedgehog, but the graphics just seem a bit washed out, almost uh, Nintendo 64 like. Please don't tell me that um, I've got to do all of that again. Um, there was a captain before. Yeah, I'm sure I think that is. But oh, where is this? There's a fucking... I don't know what the fuck is wrong with... Oh, I don't like this game. Pretty sure that's where they blew the fence. But... Oh, it's just fucking... Seven right back to the fucking start. See, it's fucking controller. Going fucking mental, you can't fucking aim. It's fucking pisses me off, and the fucking sensitivity of the analog sticks ain't fucking right either. Fucking pile of AIDS.